Thanks so much to the lovely Jenny. We'll definitely be trying those out, won't we, Jonathan? Oh, all the time, <laughs> every week from now on. Yeah, definitely. All right, so this is Jonathan File, everyone, but I'm sure you know him by now because he's been on the show a few times now. I have. And you are our financial expert yeah. that comes on. Good to be back again, it's as always. It's lovely to have you here. I love the advice that you give everyone. Now, this one I'm particularly interested in, which um, is basically how to grow your business using social networking, the first one you're going to speak about. Mm. And then how to get free PR. Absolutely. Gosh, okay. Let's hear it then. Okay. Can't wait. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, um, in a way, they, they intertwine with each other. But uh, social networks, uh, whether we're talking Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, mm. um, obviously Pinterest, LinkedIn, Google Plus. I mean, they're all the major ones, and I'm sure there are yeah. th th there are other ones too. But from from our experience in using them, um, there are different ways that you can use it in order to grow the business. Mm. And so, I guess the first thing we need to talk about is when we're talking about growing your business, it's a combination of getting your brand out there and exposed to more people who otherwise wouldn't have known you on social networks. But ideally, growing your business means for most of us is increasing the number of sales mm. that we're making. And I'm sure a lot of people watching this would be thinking, I spend and I dedicate a number of hours every single month or every week or even in some cases every day to social media or mm -hmm. social networks. I'm putting up blogs, I'm writing things, I'm commenting on things, I'm, I'm, I'm putting things out there and it's spending a lot of time but maybe not getting those results, maybe not having people come in and say, I saw that blog or enough people right. to justify and warrant the time. Mm -hmm. And so from experience, the couple of points that I wanted to, to, to share with the viewers about how you can really use it to, 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 to grow the business, okay. meaning get more sales and get more people coming to you. Mm -hmm. So if, 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 if I was to use one example within social networks, I, I have to use, I have to say Facebook, and mm -hmm. I'll talk about other ones as well too. But the wonderful thing about Facebook now is the growth of that company and the opportunity that it now allows businesses to t create targeted advert campaigns is beyond anything that I've seen mm -hmm. for such a network so far. Mm -hmm. um, the question I, and I've mentioned this before in previous interviews, is to improve the sales of your business, you need to spend the time firstly asking, who is my perfect customer and where do they hang out online and mm -hmm. offline? And when you answer the question online, every one of your customers in some presence is within a social network. And Facebook is one pr platform that a lot of people are on. Yeah. So one of the things that you can now do is that you can ask yourself, who is my perfect customer? Let's, t let's have a real think about who that perfect customer is for my business. And then ask yourself, what fan or what fan page or what page or what group within Facebook would they most likely be a fan of? Mm -hmm. So for example, what we do is we target businesses who want to grow. So for example, there's the Forbes magazine group, there is the Warren Buffett page, there is the Dragon's Den page, mm -hmm. just to give a few examples of companies where we would ask ourselves, would we think people who are interested in growing their business, would they be a fan of that page? And statistically right. we can show they yeah. are. Mm -hmm. So what you can now do is you can actually That's target <laughs> specific messages mm -hmm. to those and only those individuals who are fans of that page. Right. So you're using a platform like Facebook and social media to rather than say, put it all out there and hope that someone comes in, mm. to use it now, it's developed massively over the last few years where you can actually use it to target the people who have, are most relevant and interested in the sector or what you're offering. In terms of costs, is that quite an expensive thing to do or does that the, sort of counteract with it's a great question yeah. and the beautiful thing about Facebook is it's one of the most, and as far as the advertising campaigns are concerned, it's mm -hmm. not expensive mm -hmm. and it's controlled by the user. Mm -hmm. So you set a cap whether it's £10 a week to £1,000 a week. Right. Obviously the more money that you put in, the more the exposure it goes out. Yeah. But one key tip I want to give people about Facebook advertising is that the mistake that a lot of people make is they say, I'm going to invest £200, mm -hmm. I want it to go to men and women in this age bracket, in this geographical location, that's the ad I want to have and keep it out there until the campaign expires. That is not as efficient as doing the following. If you do that, it's not targeted enough. So you, mm -hmm. you might, you're, you're wasting money on having the exposure to all these people within an age group or a geographical yeah. location who may not and will not, in most cases, be interested in what you do. So the first step and the first tip about Facebook is to make sure that you target specifically the fans of pages who you know 
your perfect customers would be fans right. of. Okay. And the second thing is only let the campaign run for no more than four days. Four days, really? Four days per, yeah. per fan page. You mm -hmm. can then look to redo it with a different image or a different ad. So you just see the response from there, you mean, and, and then get a of feel for it? Because mm -hmm. if we think about, and we can maybe admit it today, how often we sneakily look at, it, look at Facebook per day. Yeah. If you're a fan of a page, <laughs> if you're a fan of a page, yeah. let's say we, Chrissy B. Mm -hmm. For example, you have a page on Facebook. Yeah. So if I was to target the Chrissy B fans, my ad would only be seen by and only seen by the fans of your page. Oh right. And okay. so therefore, because you narrow it down, I didn't realise it could be that specific. That's, that's, that's the beauty great. of it. That's the beauty of it. Yeah. So you bring it down, and therefore your fans, who's a, who's is still a substantial number, mm -hmm. but it's not being wasted on anyone else outside of that group. Right. And the people who are fans of your page will see that ad every day, typically three times a day. So if they haven't liked it or, or clicked through after four days, they never will. Right. So that's why you can limit wow. your costs. Golden tips here on the show. And <laughs> move it on to the next one. Wow. Um, another point about social media is the, a very, very important message. And people may have heard this before, but it's so, so true. The whole purpose of social media or social networks, it's not about what you are saying about yourself. It's about what other people are saying about you. Mm. It's the complete opposite to uh, paying for a advertising campaign in a traditional magazine, for example, or a newspaper. It's the complete opposite to telling the world how amazing you are via your website. Mm. Companies that really grow their businesses through social networks are able to use different strategies that allow people to be saying positive, Great continually things positive you. things mm. about it. Because good news and positive news in business, that's the fastest thing that does share. I mean, obviously, right. We saw last. Uh, we saw last. Uh, 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 the, the last uh, semi-final of the World Cup. You know, mm -hmm. more tweets from a sporting match than ever. Dramatic events like that, of course, will have yeah. will have more of an impact. But for small business owners, trying to gauge something from a free platform of social networks, mm -hmm. it's about asking yourself, how can I have the people who are already fans of mine, yeah. existing customers or, or people who I already have business relationships or partnerships with, what can I do to make sure that they are always continuing to share and say good things about what we do? Brilliant. Jonathan, we've run out of time. I'm so upset. Did you have more to cover? There is a few things. Oh man, you have to wait for next time you're on then. Really? This is really interesting. Yeah, the okay. time just flew by, didn't it? It did indeed. That, that was brilliant. So please save it for next time. Absolutely. Definitely. Well, so we'll have you on very soon. Okay. No <laughs> Thank you so all. much. Brilliant you're advice welcome. as usual. Okay, great. Okay, so do stay tuned because after the break we have another trip because we'll be joined with um, artist King Cash talking about his big plans in music and his track Something Now. So do stay tuned.